All right, Dylan and I ready to whip through the highs and lows of the week. We've got some good ones for you this morning. Our first high goes to the tribute to a fallen Georgia police officer from a three-year-old boy. Polk County Detective Kristen Hearn was killed last month in the line of duty, leaving behind a husband and a three-year-old son. When Detective Hearns' funeral passed through the county, Hearns' devastated fellow officers noticed a little boy dressed in a child's police uniform standing on a step stool saluting them. One officer said, I can't tell you what it meant. It just touched a lot of us here. The boy's name is Cohen. He's three, and he stood for the entire two-hour procession saluting. His mother said later he loves superheroes and he thinks of police as real-life superheroes. Well, this week, one police department showed Cohen its appreciation. The sheriff's office in neighboring Floyd County sent him a custom-made Power Wheels police SUV. On the windshield, the words Deputy Cohen. The little guy showed up to check out his new ride dressed in that same police uniform. You know, such incredible. a sweet moment. I mean, that picture of him saluting for two hours on a step stool. And he got what he wanted in return, right? I know. He got that cool ride. <laughs> Our first low goes to the poor guy working his butt off at a local car wash who became an accidental internet star this week. The first and most important thing to tell you, he's fine, somehow was not injured after this. The man is working inside a drive through car wash carrying a hose when the hose and he get caught up in one of the big automatic brushes and oh. takes him for a spin. He whips around for a good 12, 13 seconds before somebody finally shuts off the brush. Now that we know he's okay, I think we can say there's something almost artistic about this. He, he does really go into it. You know, he pulls the legs in, gets That's the, the thing. spin. It's like a dance or a, a yeah. layback and figure skating, something yeah. like that. That's exactly what I was it thinking look, of. It looks I'm really sure good. he wasn't thinking that at the time. No, he wasn't. <laughs> We're really glad he's okay. Our next high goes to the rare story that gives us something to smile about in air travel. If you've had a window seat on a recent Southwest flight out of Greater Rochester <laughs> International in New York, you may have noticed somebody out on the tarmac. That's dancing Southwest operations agent Kyron Ashford guiding a plane out of its gate and out toward the runway. <laughs> Ashford's worked at the Rochester airport for five years, and he's known for his moves there. A video shot this week by a passenger on a flight headed for Nashville went viral. Ashford says he just wants to provide passengers 30 seconds of good vibes. I love that. How cool is that guy? Now, on the other awesome. end of the spectrum for Southwest Airlines this week, they announced... There's going to be live music on some of their flights. Um. Talk about a captive audience. <laughs> what if I wanted to read yeah, a book? You can't escape that. I hope it's a PR <laughs> stunt and not actually going to happen again. Yeah. Our final low goes to the latest warning about premature celebration. Let's get you out to the soccer action in Bangkok, Thailand, where the match has gone to a tense shootout. The final decisive kick hits the crossbar, bounces up in the air away from the goal. Goalkeeper goes nuts, thinking his team has won. Oh. But wait now. The goalie off somewhere popping champagne. The ball comes back to earth, spins no. backward into the empty net for a goal. Check this out again. Oh. The incredible play has been viewed two and a half million times on Facebook. The dejected guy <laughs> bent over, doesn't know. The ball goes in. So is that a lap? There is no time limit from when? There's no time limit. It, no, and it's a shootout, so the game went on. But he thought, the goalie thought, he hit the crossbar, <laughs> game over, let's party, guys. <laughs> But he was dead wrong. And the guy who kicked it, watch how dejected oh, he is that so he missed. Sad. How did I hit the crossbar? Oh. And then someone yells at him. <laughs> roll it, roll it. Who are the two guys in the are those the refs? Those are the referees, okay. yes. The lesson for you young children is never give up on the play. It ain't over till it's over.